We all want as many children back into school as soon as it's possible and as soon as it's safe. What that required for that to happen was a robust national plan, consensus among all key stakeholders and strong leadership from the top. All three are missing. The current arrangements lie in tatters. Parents have lost confidence in the government's approach. Millions of children will miss six months' worth of schooling, and inequality will now go up. Uh, last, week he, last week, he was telling the, he was telling the House uh, that it was, it was not yet safe for kids to go back to school. Uh, this week, he's saying that uh, not enough kids are going back uh, to school. I, think, I really think he needs, to, he needs to make up his mind. And since he's so fond of these uh, international comparisons, he should know uh, that there are some countries in, uh, in the EU, in Europe, where uh, no primary school kids are going back to school, I think. Uh, and and uh, we are being extremely cautious in our approach. We're following uh, the plan uh, that we, we set out, and I think that the people of this country uh, will want uh, to, to follow it. And, they, and uh, the, all the evidence I have, 97% of the schools that have submitted data are now uh, seeing kids come back to school. And I think what we'd like to hear from the right honourable gentleman is a bit of support uh, for that and a bit of encouragement uh, to pupils and perhaps even encouragement to some of his friends in the left-wing uh, trades unions uh, to help get our schools ready. A month ago today, he made the announcement about schools without consulting relevant parties, without warning about the dates, and without any scientific backing for his proposal. It's time he took responsibility for his own failures. This mess was completely avoidable. The consequences are stark. The Children's Commissioner has warned of a deepening education disadvantage gap. And she spoke yesterday, her words, the Children's Commissioner, an emerging picture which doesn't give confidence that there's a strategic plan. She called for the government to scale up their response. It must have occurred, it must have occurred to the government that space would be a problem, that there would be a need for temporary accommodation and classrooms. They built the Nightingale hospitals. Why are they only starting on schools now? Mr Speaker, he still can't work out whether he's, in, whether he's saying schools are not safe enough or, or whether we should be going back more quickly. I mean, he, he, can, he, he can't have it both ways, Mr Speaker. It's, it's, it's one brief... One brief one day, another brief next. I know I, I understand how the legal profession works, but what the public want to have, what the public want to have, is some consistency, Mr. Speaker. And uh, what I what I hope that he will agree with uh, with me is that it's a good thing that we've now got 37% of kids in year six in our primary schools uh, coming back. That, that is increasing the whole time. And what I think the message that uh, I think that teachers want to hear across the country is that all parliamentarians in this uh, House of Commons support the return of kids to school and oh, furthermore that they are encouraging kids to come back to school because it is safe.